Shut up and sit down. I cannot think of a video that I've been more excited to make than this one in a very long time. I finally got my gun wall here in my vault, in my house. The company that I decided to go with was called Securit, all one word. And they're, they're a company that make an, a variety, an array of different things. They make uh, safes, they make tactical boxes, they make gun walls. And so I decided I would reach out to them and ask if they would be interested in me reviewing one of their products. And behold, they emailed me back and they said they would love that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a little bit of video of me getting this product because just getting it here turned into a bit of a project. I just got off the phone with the guy that's delivering my Securit gun wall and he's in a semi, he's got a pup on and it's snowing here pretty bad. He didn't think he could get to our house, get flipped around and get out. So we're gonna take my truck down and see if we can't pick it up in town so that he can, he can flip around, so. Here we go. Boom, we got it. It was a cold, muddy day though. You can see why he didn't wanna come up this way. But, here it is. Got everything unpacked. This is all the stuff that you're gonna get in that kit. So this, this kit right here, this is the Armory, sorry, it's super echoey in here. This is the Armory kit number one, but I wanted two more uh, large louvered panels and two more small ones just because my wall here, this is, uh, that's how much space it's gonna take up. So um, really the Armory kit starts right there. Now, the first thing I noticed when I got it into my house and I was, I was looking and learning on how I was gonna put this together, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that this is a problem, okay? So don't, don't take it that way. It's just something that I didn't catch. I didn't notice it when I was looking at the pictures and researching these different gun walls. So when, when you look at the picture on their website of this kit, this kit number one, armory kit number one, in my mind, the guns were free floating. They were, the, the bases were hooked onto the bottom of the actual wall. And that's not the case now, but it can be. So they've actually painted the bottom of that uh, gun wall. They've painted it to match the exact color of the panels. And so it's gray and it looks like it's the same thing, but it's not. In that picture, those are resting, the guns are resting on the floor. If you, if you wanted to have them actually on the wall, you can do that too. They make these shelves, so you put the shelves on the base of the, of the panel and then you stack those um, base stocks on top, stock bases, excuse me, on top. And that's how you can put the rifles in and have it completely free floating. So this comes with 24 cradles with a bungee that holds your rifles. It comes with 12 stock bases, two horizontal rifle display mounts, two single pistol pegs that the guns just slide straight into, and then one left display mount. I didn't want mine resting on the floor, so I took a different approach. Um, I decided I was going to build a couple of cubbies uh, underneath the wall. In order to do this, I needed to have it uh, have a toe kick. And so I went and I got some two by threes. First thing we did is we just built a little base for it out of two by threes. I felt two by fours were a little too tall. So we got two by threes, built the base, and then we began working on the cubbies themselves. Uh, to do the cubbies, I got sanded plywood. Um, I cut it into sheets with a table saw and to whatever sizes I need. The whole thing is built out of sanded plywood and uh, tack that together. It was a little tricky to get in. We had to take another board and pound it because it's, it's, it fits perfectly. And so that was a little tricky. We had to beat it in, but we eventually got it and then tacked it into the wall and then also to the floor. And so you don't have to do that. It's just what I did. And it, I think it's worked out really well. I think it looks um, really professional and it gave me a little bit of extra room. And it also kept my rifles off the ground, which I like, I'm happy with it. The, the next thing we had to do is it, to get these, because they're a 17, a little over 17 inches, 17 and a quarter, you can't just uh, put them up and drill them straight into two by fours. So what I did is I got some cheaper plywood, just some particle board that was glued together, and I went outside, 
spray painted the whole thing black. Spray paint didn't work, so I ended up having to roll it. Uh, we had some extra black paint. I've seen a lot of videos, some people would stain it. I did black, I think black looks the best. You guys can decide for yourself. I painted the whole thing black and I got three quarter inch plywood so it would be pretty durable. And then I had to get the measurements of what my specific setup was and put the plywood on the wall, screw it into each of the individual studs, and then that's when I began hanging the panels. I decided to go uh, a quarter inch in on both the left, right, top, and bottom of what the end result would be. That way I wouldn't have any overhang, I wouldn't uh, have any of the plywood showing. And I just took a level, kept it a quarter inch off of the plywood like I said, and I screwed it in with inch and a quarter sheetrock screws. You don't need to use inch and a quarter, that's what I had from projects I've been using. And it worked really good. I just picked a pattern, so I went every other row and then I put three of those screws in. The tolerances on, on this material that they're sending you is top notch. It's truly cookie cutter panels. Uh, they line up exactly. There's no overhang, there's no discrepancy in the dimensions. Now, where the seams are, they also have half circles cut out. And so when you do butt the panels together, you can screw a screw in between them, which will sink them right together. I, I then began to put a few things up on the wall. We threw some, we threw some uh, stain that matched my baseboards onto the cubbies and then I just began organizing. The whole setup is so customizable. I like this. I like that no matter what, I can customize this wall to however I want it to be. I can hang them wherever I want it to be. I can use the display mounts however I want. I can move and adjust them if I get new guns or if I sell guns. Whatever I want to do, I can make those adjustments because those punch outs are everywhere. The other thing that's really cool is they've designed this so that you can pick up a lot of different things from the hardware store. You don't necessarily have to buy uh, stuff from them. If there's different hooks or things that you want to get from the hardware store, they'll fit. If you want to pick up a different hook or a different something, you don't have to get it from them. You can go down to the hardware store. It's cheap. You can put it on there. If you want to hang a backpack, a helmet, uh, armored gear, whatever, you can put it on this wall. So there's not really that fear of things going uh, out of stock or necessarily getting old and outdated. If you guys are in the market for something like this, I, I honestly, I would recommend it to anybody. I think it's a great product. I think they've outdone themselves. Um, they, they've really put a high uh, priority on the quality of this product when it's come out. These things, because they're so adjustable, you can even move things, sometimes even with one hand, like you can pick up a handgun and move it from one spot to another just by holding, holding the handgun. Uh, all of the cradle, all of the cradles with the bungees, you put the rifles in those base stocks. Those bases have a, a bunch of different heights. So you can, you can uh, move it farther forward or you can move it further back and you can also move it up and down a little bit. And then you adjust these cradles with the bungees, you get it right where you need it. And then underneath the cradle, there is a screw. So you screw that screw in, that screw, that, that sink screw goes right underneath one of the punch outs. And so it doesn't come off. Uh, so you can, you can rip, you know, monkey and wrench that, that bungee around and the top isn't going to move. It holds it uh, sturdy in place, not going anywhere. There's so much room, so much you guys can do. Uh, such a fan. You can buy more cradles, more stock bases, more AR mag holders. You can buy more horizontal left or right displays for your pistols. You can buy straight in displays for pistols. They make elongated ones where you can display six pistols on one rack. That thing just hooks up and then they alternate high and low, ding, 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 ding. I'm impressed. I feel the finished look is fantastic. I think it turned out really well. One thing I may do in the future is it might even look good for me to rock or thin brick around this. I think that would give it a whole nother level of quality. It would make it look framed in and finished. I think it looks great right now, but it's something I might look into in the future. If you guys are interested in purchasing this product, uh, I've got a code for you. It's PRP2021. Make sure you use that. You guys will get a discount. I don't get a kickback from it, but I want to make sure that you guys save some money here. 
I have to also say that I'm, I'm quite impressed with the company for giving a smaller channel, somebody like me that has less than 900 subscribers, a shot at reviewing such a cool product. Most, most companies are obviously just looking for the bigger guys and yet these guys took a chance on the smaller ones. And so I, I feel like that kind of shows you uh, the kind of company they are, you know, they, they like taking care of their customers. They like taking care of the, uh, even the littlest guys. So um, give this company a look, you guys. Even if, even if you don't go with them, give them a look. This, this is a product I, would, I, I think you'll like. I think you'll be happy with. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.